It's cold guys, I'm sat outside in Stockholm, Sweden. Welcome back to the second video here, the first proper video, I guess you can say, on the new George Benson Football Channel. Today, we're gonna to be taking a little look through my Premier League predictions that I made on August the 10th, 2018. So before the season began, I made my predictions as to what was gonna happen from first all the way down to 20th place. I've got a picture on my phone reminding me of what the final table looked like. You're gonna see that on this side of my face right here. It's gonna stay there every single time that my face is in the frame in this video. The actual predictions that I did make will be this side. So the real table, the way it finished, what I predicted. The team I've got at the bottom of the table is Huddersfield. Huddersfield, that first season was as good as it was gonna get. Predicted they were gonna get relegated last season. They didn't, they surprised me. I think they surprised everyone, including themselves. And this season was exactly what I expected. When I went to the Reading Huddersfield playoff final, as Huddersfield got promoted to the Premier League two years ago, the worst game of football I'd ever seen. So I've never really been too optimistic for Huddersfield since going to that match at Wembley and they're in the championship now. I don't expect them to bounce straight back up. And it's a very good start for the predictions because I got that one right. And then I've got Cardiff, one of the newly promoted sides to go down in 19th. So Cardiff, they actually finished 18th. They finished the season very well with a win at Manchester United. We'll go on to them a little bit later. I thought Cardiff were gonna go down, but I put them in 19th place because I had Southampton in 18th. Now, if Southampton wouldn't have changed their manager, midway through the season, I think that prediction could have been correct. I think I could have got all three of the relegated teams right, but Fulham, who we'll go on to a bit later in this predictions video, they're one of the ones I did get very wrong. Fulham also went down as well. Southampton, I thought they were gonna get relegated. I thought their time in the Premier League was done. I could just see more and more of their top players had left. It was nothing like the team from around six or seven years ago that was really, really smashing it in the Premier League. And I thought their time was up, but they changed the manager, things got a little bit better, and they stayed up. In terms of who is just about going to survive, now I've put Brighton, Brighton would finish in 17th, so from the bottom four, 50% exactly correct. It's been a good start to my predictions. Chris Hewton has now been sacked since the end of the season for Brighton, which I'm not too sure I agree with, to be honest. I think he's done very well to keep Brighton in the Premier League, even though I did think they would stay up this season. I'm not sure that's the right decision. We'll soon find out. Okay, so looking at the Premier League table as it finished a couple of days ago in 16th place. 16th, I've gone with Watford. I feel like they could struggle this season. I said Watford would be down in 16th. Now, I didn't expect Watford to have as good season as they've done. Not only did they finish a lot higher in the Premier League, it only changed hands in the last couple of games of the season. They would have been a top table, top half of the table team, sorry, had they not ended the season so poorly. But they've got an FA Cup final to come as well. So obviously their mind has been looking forward to the Cup final. It is against Manchester City, so they're going into that as massive underdogs. But it's a Cup final. Anything can happen on Cup final day. And of course, they've been thinking about that come the end of this Premier League season. But it's been a very good season for them nonetheless. Eat a little bit of humble pie. I got that one wrong. I said they'd finish 16th. And in 15th, I've gone with Bournemouth. They've just smashed their transfer record by buying Lerma, the Colombian, for £25 million. And Eddie Howe is probably my favourite English manager other than the legend, which is now Gareth Southgate for taking us to a World Cup semi-final. So another one that I got very, very close within one position of the actual final table was Bournemouth. I had a feeling they were going to struggle this year under Eddie Howe. They've got a very, very good team at Bournemouth and it seems as though one week they can be really, really good and they can beat one of the big boys and then the week after things just seem to go really wrong. And when they concede a few goals, they seem to concede a bucket ton of goals. So if they can fix that next season, I firmly expect them to finish a lot higher in the table. But that one was super close, moving up to 14th, which I predicted to be Newcastle. Now, the difference again, just one. These predictions could have been so, so good if I hadn't missed out by like one place. But when you get a team really, really wrong, it kind of screws up the rest of them further down the line. So pretty close. Newcastle can be very happy again, I think, because it didn't start too good. And then Rafa Benitez just seemed to click it again. And Newcastle need to be looking far higher up the Premier League table, I think, for the future. If they can keep hold of Rafa Benitez, which I think they will, they've got to be looking for a top half finish next season. Newcastle fans cannot be happy to finish in the bottom half again, but considering what it looked like at one stage this season, 
I think people will be happy. I've gone with Burnley, and Burnley obviously last season were one of the, the fairy tale stories, really, of the Premier League. They pushed Arsenal right to the end to try and get sick. Now in 13th, I put Burnley. Sean Dyche's Burnley looked down and out at Christmas. I thought they were gonna get relegated, and this would have been one that I got extremely wrong. I put them in 13th, which, well, two places higher than they actually finished. But considering the way it looked at Christmas, I think Burnley fans can be very happy. They had the Europa League at the start of the season where they didn't actually get into the main competition. So no one could really blame playing Thursday night football on the way their season started. It just didn't work. And come Christmas, it did look like they were relegated. They finished 15th. Which leads us on to 12th with Crystal Palace. I got this one right. I don't know why, but Palace just always strike me as a 12th place team. I expect them to start poorly, have a load of good results, get enough points, survive and finish 12th. And making up the final place in the bottom half of the table, I've gone with Leicester. So that Premier League win for Leicester City, we know it's not gonna happen again. And I think Leicester now need to be looking much higher up the table than they did finish this season. They finished in 10th. I actually put down on my predictions that they were gonna finish 11th. I thought they were gonna struggle this season. They've now got Brendan Rodgers in charge. And I think that is gonna be a good appointment come next season once he's had a transfer window, bought in a few players, got rid of some of the players he doesn't want anymore. Jamie Vardy again, scoring the goals, 18 Premier League goals. It kind of went under the radar for me. I wasn't really looking at Vardy as being a big goal scorer again this season, but only four goals yet again off the golden boot, keeping Leicester out of trouble. At one stage or another, it did look like they were in trouble. Sack the manager, Brendan Rodgers comes in, steadies the ship gets them a top half finish. So then we've done the bottom half of the table. This is where it starts to get interesting. And those of you that are listening carefully will realize that two of the promoted clubs from last season, I've still not even mentioned yet. We've got Fulham and Wolves. Now we're gonna go with 10th and 9th respectively. I'm not gonna leave any cliffhangers and say I think Wolves are gonna get Champions League football or Fulham for that matter. However, Fulham arguably had the best transfer window of any Premier League club. So I've gone with Fulham in 9th. Wolves in 10th. Now, one of my best friends is a Wolves fan. Now, certainly one of the biggest surprises in the Premier League this season was Wolves. They beat all the big boys. They've beaten the two European finalists, one in the FA Cup, beat Liverpool in the FA Cup, beat Spurs in the Premier League. They had an incredible season. They play some absolutely incredible football. I think anybody who is a neutral has been following the Wolves story this season and wanting them to do very, very well. I thought they were gonna get a top half finish, which again, some people thought I was crazy. A lot of people looked at the team and thought, yeah, you know what, these guys can actually do something. They finished seventh, which is an absolutely phenomenal achievement in their first season in the Premier League after coming up from the Championship. I got this one wrong, although I did say they would finish in the top 10, so I'm kind of happy with that. Moving up to ninth, this is the one that I uh, got embarrassingly wrong. I looked at the money that Fulham spent in the summer last year, and I just didn't really see how they could do worse than some of the teams that I put closer to the bottom. Got this one really wrong. It didn't click at Fulham. They lost their manager a few months into the season. They were getting absolutely hammered. They were the whooping boys of the Premier League. They were conceding bucket tons of goals. I put them in ninth. I don't know how and why, looking back on it now. Well, I gave my reasons. They spent a lot of money. I thought it was gonna work. Mitrovic, I'd take him at Chelsea. So now for the top eight. In eighth position, I'm gonna go with West Ham United. Now last season, I think again, they could be disappointed. The Olympic Stadium move, it's not really gone so well. All right, now West Ham finished in 10th place this season. I put them in eighth at the beginning of the season, which I thought they were gonna have a good season under Pellegrini. Again, didn't start very well. They've picked up some good results as the season's gone on. I think next season could be a big, big year for West Ham. I think obviously there's there's no more like, let's blame the new stadium, who do, let's whatever. You know, if they can keep hold of Arnautovic, who I highly rate as, as a forward, I think next season could be a lot better for West Ham. I think they won't necessarily be so happy with 10th. It did look at one point as though it was gonna be worse. I thought they were gonna have a much better season than they did. They finished in eighth and that moves up to seventh. Everton, the deadline day was just full of praise for Everton, bringing in Bernard on a free. They have brought in Mina, who scored the header for Colombia against England. He had a very, very good World Cup. Everton. I thought Everton were going to be the best of the rest, as we kind of always say. It's like, we've got a top six now, and then it's Everton, Leicester, Wolves, as the case may be this season. I thought Everton were going to have a much better season. They've been very good towards the end of the season, and I think if they can start next season the way they finish this one that we've just gone by, they're gonna have a much better year. And looking at what's happening at Manchester United, and again, I hate to think about it, but if Chelsea lose Hazard and we can't make any signings, we could be one of the teams looking over our shoulders at teams like Wolves or Everton next season, which is really sad for me to say, but it's definitely possible. And I think Everton have got a very, very good team. 
I've always rated Gilfie Sigurdsson. I think Richarlison's a great player. Everton could be in for a big year next year. Although I kind of think we've said that multiple times and it just doesn't happen. So far, we've managed to get three absolutely bang on from my predictions. A few of them have been very, very close. What order have I put them in? And they're probably the most popular club still in the Premier League, so this isn't going to go down very well. I've put United in sixth. I always remember, because United have got such a big fan base, whenever I say United aren't going to do well, it gets a lot of hate. It gets a lot of stick, because United fans are very proud. They're very proud of their history. I kind of saw United having the season they've had. At one stage, when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer first took over after sacking Mourinho, it looked as though they were completely re-energised. It looked as though they were going to get the top four. Everyone else around them was faltering, they kept winning games, and all of a sudden, they give Solskjaer the job full-time, and it just falls apart. Absolutely falls apart. They drop out the Champions League, they can't pick up a win in the Premier League for love nor money. Beaten by Cardiff on the final day of the season. Whatever it is that's going on at Manchester United, I don't know the ins and outs of everything. I don't think anybody does, really. Gary Neville's probably given the best insight from any of the pundits that I've seen. <sighs> Serious problems at United. I think Arsenal are going to bounce back a little bit more. But Arsenal in fifth with the new manager. I think a whole season for Aubameyang. I think he's going to bang 20 plus goals this season. Another correct prediction. I stuck Arsenal there. And I think a lot of it was to do with Chelsea bias. And I wanted to firmly believe that we were going to have a good enough season. And finish in the top four. Which meant one team had to miss out. And I thought Pochettino was such a great manager. It won't be Spurs. It certainly won't be City. Probably won't be Liverpool, so it's got to be Arsenal. I'll be completely honest, that's the reason I put them there. Spurs, the first team ever in English football Premier League top flight history to not make a signing in a transfer window. Spurs have arguably got one of the best 11s in the Premier League. Obviously, as a Chelsea fan, we we dislike Tottenham, and I, I don't think any Tottenham fan can begrudge that. It's a rivalry. It is what it is. However, this is a predictions video where I give my honest prediction as to where I think they're going to finish. Another one that we got exactly correct was Tottenham. I didn't want to put Spurs ahead of Chelsea. Again, complete bias thing. I thought that Chelsea and Spurs were going to be very close. They were very close as we look at my prediction for third. As you can see, Chelsea got third place as well. I knew that it was going to be a very, very tough season for the top four. I think that in the grander scheme of things, Chelsea didn't get top four because we played such great football. We got top four because all of the other teams around us dropped so many points and we were scraping poor performances but getting the results to get more points, which at the end of the day, that's all that really matters, to be honest. We've won Premier League trophies where we've not necessarily played the best football, but we've got enough points and enough results. And that's exactly how Chelsea managed to get in the top four this season. I will make another video about the future of Chelsea when we kind of understand that Eden Hazard's situation a bit better, figure out exactly whether or not we're gonna be able to uplift the transfer ban for the next window. So much of Chelsea's future depends on that exactly. But I got those correct. And that moves us into second and first. How can anyone look beyond Manchester City? They've bought in Mares, who I didn't think actually looked that good in the Community Shield. I thought he looked tired. But last season, they were just a cut above everyone. Guardiola, I don't see how this squad can fail. Who's going to win it? I'm changing my mind again. I'm genuinely changing my mind again. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to say it. I think Liverpool are going to win the Premier League. It could have been a very very good Premier League predictions video if one point or 11 millimeters with that ball that John Stones cleared off the line. If he didn't do that, it would have been Liverpool's title. I thought it was going to be Liverpool's title. I'll be completely honest. You can see it here with my predictions. I knew it was going to be close. Didn't think it was going to be as close as it was, and I didn't think both of those two teams were going to be so far ahead. It's actually crazy how much better Liverpool and Manchester City are than any other team in the Premier League. Spurs were kind of rolling with the big boys for a while, but in the end, they just lost the steam. Champions League football, no signings, didn't have enough depth in the squad in order to be able to keep up with Liverpool and Manchester City with results. They were completely different gravy compared to the rest of everybody else. There isn't ambulance that was quite loud you can see from my predictions here and the final premier league table here it wasn't the worst set of predictions i don't think anyone can say that i'm as clueless as people made it out to be in the comments section of that video which a few people did it was pretty close i think if well if liverpool would have finished ahead of city it would have looked very very good for me that is exactly how it went that was my predictions that was the final premier league table i will do another one of these on this channel come the beginning of next season once we've seen all the transfers and all of that stuff now the transfer window closes early it actually makes it a lot easier to make these Premier League predictions videos because things can't happen so much 
after the season kicks off. Give me some honesty in the comments down below. Let me know what your predictions were. Let me know if you got close or if you got it completely wrong. Let me know what you think the biggest shock of the season was. If you're new around here, plenty of new videos coming out really soon. Be sure to subscribe, hit the button. It's free and you can click the bell as well, which will notify you when I make a new video. I will catch you all later. Bye-bye.